before we set up camp. Oh, actually, it's not as bad as it was when you first took it out. Most of it shook out in the dumping it on the ground. It's being on the front of the trailer and us having just done 70 kilometres of bull dust. A little bit dusty. Well, we found a lovely camp spot, not far from the dog fence, a few hundred metres. 100k or something from Eucla and 40 odd from Nullarbor, on the Nullarbor. And we found this nice spot where hundreds of people have camped. Our um, alternator is overcharging, it's not the regulator. It's failed. It's a bit intermittent, so we phoned for several minutes to the NRMA premium gold service and they don't know where the Nullarbor was so then they were referring us to South Australia so I waited for a bit for a few more recorded messages and we hung up so now we're having a brandy and dry and some Tasmanian camembert and we still have some hummus Anthony had some tin ravioli and we're still working out what we'll produce. The air highway is just down there somewhere. We can hear the trucks going by now and again. like the trees around Wee Bubby, north of Eucla, where we camped years ago. Lots of spiders in the undergrowth, and Anthony sprayed a little bit over there. Just broken camp coming down the Cook Road. There's a rare sighting of the Nullarbor nymph walking along the air highway, walkie talkie in hand. And the trucks slow down to see if she wants to lift. Well, the road was uh, graded with deep in bull dust. They graded one edge of it. You could do it, well, we did it in two wheel drive but you need a bit of ground clearance. You could do it in a Subaru. Lots of bull dust. They had a few trucks all night going by. Their reflectors flickering madly through the trees and the scrub on the side of the road as they went. Standing on the roof rack of the car was quite a sight. Their headlights going a mile or so in the distance. There's the Nullarbor nymph again. I better catch her up, offer her a lift. This monument, which is in Mix Wayne, um, 11k down the road that just passed, there's supposed to be a um, microwave tower, and there's another crossroad going up to the old air highway, or up to that straight line highway anyway. Yeah, there's a... Um Want a lift? Want a lift, darling? Uh -huh. Want a lift, darling? Yes, please, darling. A look out of the over the cliffs. There was a gale and lightning here last time, last September. Now it's a beautiful day.
quite sheltered back from the, the edge. There's a campsite. Ring of stones and shells, snail shells. I've collected a few. There's no wind back here. And the cars over there. You camp in a little tent. Oh, there's a little animal. It's just, it's just at the top of the yard. Oh, Ge That's a gecko. Yeah, you've got gecko feet. Lying in the sun. Yeah, we'll climb down and catch him. Oh, yeah. Want a biscuit? Are they? The bike's going west. Hey, Holly. All their gear. That's the sand dunes past Eucla. You can drive down the around here, go fishing. Thirty, less than thirty k from the border. Off the rocks. Oh, this is about 15k from the border. One sixty point eight for the I filled up with sixty one litres plus twenty one from a jerry can we're gonna have some lunch. There's the whale. Just gonna change the camera down three quarters backwards. All those little signs are um, a bit mixed up actually. They got their spots in the wrong place. Uh, Euclid Beach, Border Village, and etc. And this is the old uh, rifle range as well over here. Uh, they can. You'd have to watch out for flying bullets as well as um, golf balls. And there's a clubhouse, a uh, clubhouse for the, originally for the um, rifle range. 
there's Mary with a scorecard. She's going to tee off in a minute there. She's got the on the uh, driving range. Not sure which way you drive to yet. That's no, par four. Nice little green. All the, the holes are green. And if you don't get shot while you're walking by, there's the grounds littered with bullet shells. This is called an old bore nymph. This tea. They got a little map of each one. Steve Patapus. Who's Steve? Synthetic grass supplied by various people. The grass that lasts. So it'll just go brown or melt in summer. stakes and red stakes and faces and another teeing off point. There's an old golf links here from before and this one might have taken over. The new one took over. That's a green. This is the second green here. Par 18 hole. Par 8. Got a bit of natural green. Yeah, it has some green. It hasn't been used for a while. Well, so do you follow those white sticks all the way down? I don't know. No, when you see the third. No, the white sticks on the side. I do know this one. Yeah, that's a nine hole. We just found the, the greensman, the local greensman here. So I think you need a hoe as well. You've got to hoe the... and then clear nice, clear nice bit there. That's the first time it's been done in a few years, I think. And a, another tea goes off, off this away in the bush somewhere. And they're named. You can spend the day wandering around the, the real Nullarbor. You can actually drive around the, if you had your big off buggy. They're not greens, they're greys. And the new one that goes from Kalgoorlie to Sojourner is just using a bit of this one. This is one of the, the greys. And there's the hole seven. And over on the right is a new green. I'll just have a little putt. Hey. I don't, I don't think you would. Three putt already and you're only halfway to the hole. Yeah. Uh, yeah, even the kangaroos have been down to have a look at it. We're just following the GPS across the Nullarbor and the plane here. Just just change the colour balance to see the nice brown of the plane. Gold. Gold. And Gold. Anthony's over at the microwave tower, which is 
southwest of us and we're going a little bit south or west on a GPS heading to find Wee Bubby Cave. These are the, the same open grassy plains that they use for the, the golf links and we're wondering how they occurred and we just found the Wee Bubby blowhole which confirms we're on the right track which is good. Well, it's several meters deep and it's got an echo and blowing cool air. Woo! A lovely lovely clean chimney to go down. 234 metres to go. It's about right, isn't There's it? There's the microwave tower. I can get the microwave tower. A bit later. Yeah. Coming across the last little donga, and Anthony's beside the caves. It says strictly prohibited. Oh, it's a beautiful evening. Set up camp at and a quarter to eight, seventeen, half past, half past seven. Not sure what time it is. And uh, well, the shadows are long. Half past seven, um, the time that we've been using for South Australia. And it's quarter to six, local time. And this is at Wee Bubby, and uh, there's a big sign here now saying it's unsafe. Uh, rock falls they've had. We came here in '66 last time. Very, a very old ladder going down here. And a bit of a bit of a scramble. You're on the edge. Watch out for rock falls. Oh, it's through there, do. No. Ooh, I oh, you make my you toes cool. You go across there, do you? You have to come down to here. I thought we used to abseil. An abseil down. No, you don't abseil down. It's a scramble down. Yeah. Mm, it's just a scramble. We did abseil. We practiced practiced abseiling yes. over the edge. Yes. No, I thought, oh, it's funny. I can't remember how to get down. I remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know where the pipes came up. Came up this slope. It's very hairy where you are. Extremely hairy. I think you should go back. Hold, holding on to a rope, do we? No. Well, I don't remember doing it all on a rope. Well, I would have had a hand line to get around there. There's Gramp. There's Nana climbing up the edge of Wee Bubby Cave. Oh, I'm glad your balance is all right. He's not as nearly as enthusiastic about going down either. I remember sitting here and watching people coming up. Right. The ladder? No. The ladder? No, I couldn't see the ladder. Oh. An old, looks like an old wooden ladder, carpenter's ladder. You'd have to run a hand line down. There's a quandong just growing on the edge, and some sort of ferny thing down there as well. That's the kondong. That's the kondong. That's the nut. No. That's the bit that you eat. Oh dear, what's it like? Oh, well, in the kondong pie, it was very kondong nice. Kondong pie? 
Yeah. Well, there's two red Kwandong. Oh, this is a this whole thing it's very bitter. is uh, Kwandong actually. Now, if a tree will grow out here, it's should be able to, should be able to get one to grow at home. Yeah. Look at all the berries, all the quandongs on it. Yeah. Oh. Just about make a quandong. Yeah. Stewed quandongs for dinner. We must have come here caving in the wrong time of the year. Yeah. Right, hanging over the edge of the cave. I pick some. Everything would have been different, but anyway, he's got all these coins. He's got all these coins from hasn't he? God, he's got a he's a new miss new mismatist. Yeah, yeah. I think the last bar in it. But it's in in this lovely hotel. It's a sort of it must be the gold and it's got some staircases and in little bird with yellow tops and. He spread his wings right around that hump and then pulled them in and then went into that little hollow. There's another very nice hole there, but there's nothing in that one. And there he's flicking through the bird book to try and find the, the right one while we listen to Macca. Eight o'clock. 